Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So in this video, we are obviously going to be multiplying decimals. Now, multiplying decimals is very similar to multiplying whole numbers. It's really the same exact process except for the end. When we have our answer, we need to make sure we place the decimal in the correct place. So if you have the process of multiplying whole numbers down, you will be in good shape to start off. If you need a little review on multiplying whole decimals, I dropped the link to my instructional video below, and then you can come back to the decimal ones. So let's hop into number one. And as you can see, we have four problems here. We are gonna go through these four problems together. I suggest writing them out with me on paper, and then we'll try a mastery check where you'll try some on your own to see if you have it down. So our first rule for multiplying decimals is we re need to rewrite the problem vertically. So we have one and three tenths times five tenths. So the first thing I like to do is take the decimal out when we write our problem. So I would just write 13 times five. You don't need to line up your decimal when you multiply decimals, like when you have to in adding and subtracting decimals. This is a different process. So take the decimal out, do 13 times five, five times three is 15, five times one is five, plus one is six, and we get 65. Now, our answer is not 65. Take a look at our original problem. 65 doesn't make sense for that problem. So what we do in order to place the decimal, we count or see how many digits are to the right of a decimal. And we have this five here, and we have this three. So we have two digits behind or to the right of decimals. So that means your answer will have two digits or numbers behind the decimal. So we bring our decimal in twice, one, two. So our answer would be 65 hundredths. Okay, pretty easy. So first step, take the decimal out, go through your multiplication process. Second step, place the decimal back in your answer. I'll just put place the decimal. So let's go to number two here. Take the decimal out. Let's just do 783 times four. You don't need to worry about lining your decimals up or anything. Three times four is 12. Four times eight is 32, plus one is 33. Seven times four is 28, plus three is 31. So you get 3132. Now go back to your original problem, see how many digits are behind a decimal. One, two, three. So that means our answer will have three digits behind the decimal. So I bring it in three. One, two, three. So our answer is three and 132 thousandths. Boom, done with that one. So number three, What's our first step? Hopefully you're thinking take the decimal out. So we do 51 times 38. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. Done with the 8. We need a placeholder 0 for this 3 here. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. We need to add our partial products here. And we get 1938. So let's check. take a look and check our original problem. We have one, two decimals, or two digits behind or to the right of a decimal. So that means our answer will have two digits or two numbers to the right of the decimal. So 19 and 38 hundredths. And then finally, this is our big one here. We'll have 312 and 817, 14, 8, 21, done, done. We need one placeholder zero for that one. One times two is two, one times one is one, and one times three is three. And then for this eight, we need two placeholder zeros, 
8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And 8 times 3 is 24. So let's add these together. We get a 4, a 10, 1, 2, 3, 9, um, 14, 5, and 2. I'm going to write these digits up here so we can see better. So let's go back to our original problem. We have the 7, we have the 1, and the 2. So three digits to the right of the decimal. So that means our answer will have three digits to the right of the decimal. So 254 and 904 thousandths. So those are our four problems for multiplying decimals. And really, it's just the same exact thing as multiplying whole numbers. You just have to remember to place that decimal at the end and remember, Count how many numbers or digits are to the right of the decimal, and that's how many your answer will have. Okay, so I will see you over at the Mastery Check to see if you have this down on your own. Thanks for watching.